The singers that I usually work with have a pretty decent vocal technique and a good career. It's just that the last little tiny bit of vocal freedom is missing. Maybe the passage of going from down to high and from high to low is a little bit more difficult than it should be. Or the upper range, the vocal flexibility with the different sounds is takes a little bit of effort. And I see other people who can have this effortless, nice and open voice just like this opening their mouth. And it's like... When other people can do it, I should be able to do it too. But they have never found somebody to really explain them what actually really happens anatomically with what kind of sound in their voice. And that just this idea of I understand what really physically happens, not mental concepts that help me produce a certain sound, but what physically happens with my voice inside my throat, with my muscles, in order to produce certain sounds, can really make a big difference for them. And they kind of know that, but they never found anybody who can actually tell them how they can achieve that. And they have tried so many different vocal techniques already. They've gone from this to this, and everybody says something else about what support is and what how much breath or how little breath you need for what kind of sound or what for what kind of genre that you sing and often they see that it's oh either it's classical or it's pop music or it's rock music or it's death metal or it's this or it's that but the technique the techniques that the, the teachers teach, they cannot help them do the overall train their overall voice for whatever technique they want to use. And it's frustrating. It's frustrating to see people who can be so open and easy with their voice and switch through all these genres and you're just stuck. <laughs> you're just stuck with you know whatever you have, which is not little, huh? which is not like tiny, but it's not that freedom and effortlessness that you deserve after 10, 15 years of vocal training. And for these people, I want to be there because I have found vocal training, anatomical vocal training, anatomy-based vocal training. And since I found that 15 years ago, um, my voice it has developed so much through so little, meaning through so, so much ease and not struggling, not having to, you know, get at the big guns every time I'm on, on stage and want to sing that high note, but have an easy time slowly developing to this big, amazing voice. Now, today, I want to invite you to the Voba Vocal Show, which is a Zoom meeting where I meet live with people who are interested in knowing more about anatomical vocal training. And you can come and just ask all your questions and get some feedback um, about your voice, because I have two people um, that I take on the hot seat where I just test their voice a bit and I uh, tell them what I think and from an anatomical vocal training perspective, what would be the next, next good steps to achieve whatever they want to achieve with their voice. If you click the link below, just sign up. You'll get to my website. You can just sign up in this little form that there is and you reserve your seat for the Voba Vocal Show and then you just come over, you listen in, you get inspired, soak it in and take away the goodies about vocal training that I give especially at the end and then I'm looking forward to seeing you there.